Good Wednesday evening to you, Richard Scott here for your local forecast update. Cool for now, but it does warm up as we go into the weekend. 70s, new return here to Alabama. Going back to the tornadoes had Monday evening, Monday night, quite a number of those. Here in Alabama, we have 12 of those uh, tornadoes so far reported. Uh, I do expect that number to go up just a bit. The National Weather Service still investigating some of that damage, especially in our northeast Alabama counties. But uh, the strongest one over in Jacksonville, that was an EF3, winds 100 and 40 miles per hour. Very interesting to note the hail in Coleman. We had a, officially a report. Now, this is from the National Weather Service. They went down and actually surveyed this hailstone. Somebody had froze. It was 5.25 inches in diameter, a circumference of 13.75 inches. This is the largest known hailstone in the state. 8.9 ounces the weight of that. So that is incredible and it's remarkable nobody was killed in this large hail in Coleman because that, that's incredible. This thing, this stuff was coming through roofs. Uh, just to give you an idea of how large it was, how uh, damaging it was, uh, certainly our thoughts and prayers go out to everybody impacted by the tornadoes and the hail because this was uh, certainly a devastating event for our North Alabama counties. Now here in Tuscaloosa the conditions are very quiet tonight. On this Wednesday night, temperatures dropping pretty fast. This recording about 9:50 Wednesday night, and we've already got temperatures in the upper 40s here in Tuscaloosa. Winds becoming light to calm, and that's going to allow for a frost overnight tonight. 47 in Birmingham and Anniston, 51 in Demopolis. Demopolis made it up 65 this afternoon. Tuscaloosa at 59, close to 60 earlier. How about lows today? This is what I expect, a light freeze for uh, much of North Alabama. Areas north of Tuscaloosa could get in the low 30s. I do expect a light to patchy frost for areas as far south as Highway 80. Uh, I do expect quite a bit of frost for our north and central Alabama counties. So if you're in Alabama along and north of Highway 80, expect quite a bit of frost on the ground tomorrow morning. Frost advisory, the counties in the light blue shade. On top of that is a, a freeze warning for the counties in that darker blue that includes Hamilton to Birmingham down towards Taldega and Lineville and points north. So, again, that's where we should get below freezing tonight. Uh, nor'easter heading out. We've got snow falling quite heavily in places like Long Island, New York, New Jersey, back towards Boston. That system is slowly moving away, but our local weather is getting pretty quiet. The windy conditions we had earlier this afternoon really beginning to calm down quite a bit. And we do note there's a warming air mass to our west, and that begins to move in, especially on Friday. Even tomorrow for Thursday, it gets a little bit warmer after the cold start. I do expect mid-60s during the afternoon. Plenty of sunshine, but clouds do come back as we go into the day on Friday. Late in the day, temperatures near 70 on Friday. Upper 70s on Saturday, and there could be a shower this weekend mainly over north Alabama. I don't expect a lot of rainfall at all, but then turning a little cooler temporarily on Monday then as that front retreats back to the north, back at the 70s, Tuesday and Wednesday.